What's up you guys, Sam here with a new video today. We're here to finally do a live deck profile here on the channel. As you guys can see, I'm providing my favorite deck right now, the Bay deck, the Minerva deck, the Shurinui Zombie Light Swarm. It has like 50 engines in it. Uh, I absolutely love this deck. I've been playing it. I've been playing Minerva for a really long time actually, like ever since I got Minerva. I took a break to play Zoo once, hated playing it, took a break to play P Paleo, hated it. Went, always went back to this, me and my brother Johnny, we just always loved this deck. He's taught me so much about this deck, how to play it properly, how to, you know, just play every engine possible to make the deck amazing. I want to showcase it for you guys. One thing about the reason I chose this deck, not only the reason it's my favorite deck, but also because if I were to go to the San Diego Regionals this weekend, or if I go to YCS Pittsburgh, or if I even went to YCS Denver, unfortunately I could not, I would have played this deck. I love this deck, and I know everyone's playing Zoo, everyone was playing Paley, everyone was playing those decks at that event, but I feel that out of the 60 card decks, this and Infernoids were definitely like my favorite like two decks, and I just these were the decks I would place. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys my list. Now granted, this is post uh, Maximum Crisis. I do not have Ghost Stash, so I'm going to show you guys the hand traps I am running, and just know that if I were to make any change to the deck, it would definitely be that. So I'm going to get into it for you guys. One more thing, you guys already know, Bay's getting reprinted, you all can play this deck soon. So, I'm going to get into it. I broke it up into sections because it is 60 cards. So, just so you guys can fully understand like how the deck operates. For those of you that don't know, we're going to start with the Zombies, which is the strongest uh, part of the deck. We have 3 Solitaire, you guys already know. The 3 Solitaire is a Lone Fire for Unizombie. We also play the 3 Mizuki. Card's insane, just banish it, you know, summon any of your Zombies. The 2 Unizombie, this card is also insane because it literally just makes multiple Omegas. Uh, so th those are like the standard cards you play for zombies. And then I play only one Gozuki and one of the Shirinui uh, Spirit Master. This card is insane. Banish it with snow and you just blow up a card for free. Another cool combo, Banish Solitaire and Spirit Master. When these are banished, this pops a card and this brings this back. So that's really cool. People also don't know, but if you have this, you can normal it and then you can special uh, the Shirinui Solitaire from the grave or from your hand. So it can make an instant rank four. So that's really cool. These zombies are really solid. That's all I play. I only play one uh, Gozuki because um, I tried to and I just I only need that to see that card once you can get it back off of Mizuki and then you can foolish another Mizuki so it's really good uh, I like it it's a solid card I just like it at one though so that's it for the zombie part Next, we're going to do the Light Sworn part, which is actually, in all honesty, the weakest part of the deck. But we play two Raiden. We only play two because normal summons, we don't want to have that many. Three Wolf because we're trying to be Saki and mill it off Grass and Minerva. And the one Arcus, it's searchable off Broad Bull. It doesn't really come up that much, but if you're Light Sworn Monsters, I mean, they can't really be targeted, so it's whatever. I like Raiden the most. It's a solid normal, but you really just don't want that many normal summons in the deck. You usually normal summon the Solitaire, so your Light Swords are just there to hit off Minerva, and they're there for the versatility, because if you do mill Raiden, you do have instant fusion, you do have an instant uh, level 8, so it's pretty solid, and like I said, Argus is a Broad Bull target, so that comes up and makes your Solar Recharge live. Alright, next we're going to go with, uh, we'll just do like some of the engine cards I guess and finish out the monsters. Obviously the best card in the deck, 3 Fairy Tale Snow, I don't need to explain that, the card's broken, it should be banned. We also play the Zodiac Engine because the reason why we play the Zodiac Engine is not only because of Dryden and Broad Bull, but because we're able to make Kagasushi, which is honestly one of my favorite exceeds in this deck because it's just like a Minerva. It mills five, fuels snow. The whole point of this deck is to fuel snow because you make insane turn once and then you just stop your opponent with multiple snows and you just win because of that. So I really like uh, the Zoo Engine too. Barrage is insane because it's just a free summon. If you open Barrage, you guarantee that you're going to make Kagasushi next to Minerva, and that's milling what is that eight cards that guarantees a, a snow uh, the changes I made from my last list, even though you guys probably never saw it, I did have to add the Kaiju Engine because of Masterpiece. So I decided to play the weakest Kaijus because I'm just not trying to give my opponent a 3300 if I don't have to. I play the weakest ones because there's no reason not to play Gamma Seal. It's obviously the weakest one. It's got a big ass if you do, you know, have to special it or whatever. And I just played all the weakest ones, the 22, the 24, and the 27, uh, just because off Slumber, you guys already know. And then if I have to give my opponent one, I want them to have one that I can get rid of quite easily so thanks masterpiece I had to play kaijus in my main deck but it happens uh, here you guys is 3 DD crow I love this card but it definitely should be ghost ashes just because that card is insane unfortunately I do not have them yet I will be getting them but for right now I'm playing 3 crow crow is still solid I would still actually play DD crow probably in my side deck I like it against the lunalite combo I like it against paleozoic I like it against I even like it against true draco to an extent because they do like to banish their spells and traps 
traps to do stuff. So if I can crow it, it kind of helps. Also, it's really good against dinosaurs because you just uh, crow the, I think it's the raptor guy. I don't, I'm not really good with uh, the dinosaur names, you guys. I apologize. But DD crowing stuff is just always good in Yu-Gi-Oh. So that's in there. And then, of course, the one Max C because we're trying to draw Max C in 60 cards. And then for the one ofs, one Thrasher because it's a good starter card. One Trick Clown and one Garnet because they're the brilliant fusion targets. So that's it for the monsters. I believe it's 32 monsters. It's a lot of monsters. On to the spells. Three of, I'm tired of seeing this card, uh, three grass. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love this card, but I'm honestly tired of 60 card format already. I'm tired of playing 60 cards, I want to play less. I want to go back to 40, 45, whatever. I'm tired of playing grass. I'm tired of playing 60 card mirror, because this card's dead, but card is still insane, because if you resolve it against any deck that's not 60 cards, you probably win. It's, this is so sacky, because everything activates in the graveyard, so uh, this card is just insane. I hope it gets banned, honestly. Like I've never wanted a card to get banned that I play, but I want it banned just so I don't have to play 60 card format anymore. On the rest of the spells, uh, three desires, you can play it, why not? It's Pot of Greed in this deck. 60 cards, you're not going to banish anything too critical. Three Barrage, because this card is unfair. It really is just being able to open Barrage and then just like literally just like pop off and make a Kagasushi along with other stuff is nuts. And another thing, when you make the Kagasushi, you're summoning the Whiptail, so your Kagasushi not only cannot be destroyed, you can save it, you also banish stuff because of Whiptail. That's pretty nutty. Um, three Brilliant Fusion, because it's card is nuts. It's just an additional extender. You know, get your combos going. You can also combo it to make um, Omega because you have that plus Unizombie. That's an 8. A uh, 3 Instant Fusion. You know, card's insane. Instant and Brilliant just belong together. Uh, 3 Twin Twister because we're not trying to lose the back row and Paleo. Now, I know a lot of people are, you know, down, you know, like just saying Paleo is not going to be that good. It's probably true. People are going to stop playing Paleo, but back row is always going to exist, so cards like the uh, Twin Twister need to exist in the main deck. And then uh, the two Slumbers I have to play because I play the Kaiju engine. It's not bad to mill. If I mill it, worst case scenario, next turn I can get a Kaiju and out whatever's in my way, so I do like the card a lot. Plus it's board wipe. It gets around really problematic cards. Uh, two charge uh, and two recharge. Only two recharge. We only play six targets. Uh, I've talked uh, with Alpe about the deck many times. He said you could play three because it makes uh, you could just search Arcus off Broad Bull. I just I wanted to cut it down because I just don't want to see it multiple times because you're not really trying to get rid of wolves. Like if you draw wolves, like it already sucks. So two recharge is enough. You could, like I said, you can make it live with Broad Bull searching Arcus, and then just the one ups, one soul charge because it's stupid. One Rota searches out my warriors. One upstar and one foolish burial. I'm trying to make my deck consistent even though it's 60. I'm playing a 59 card deck. So that's it for the main deck you guys. It's 60 cards. On to the extra deck. Of course one original Minerva. Uh, I know it's getting reprinted. I have no problem with that. Uh, I want to play two. If I play a regular Light Sworn, I just want to play two because I always wanted to play two Minerva. So Minerva's insane. But I'll be honest with you guys, you don't need to play this card. This card just literally makes your deck better in a sense that it fuels snow. That's all Minerva does. It fuels snow. You're rarely going to hit Light Sworn. And if you do, you're a sack. I've done it. I've milled Double Wolf in a 60 card deck. But it's not going to happen that many times. So don't feel bad if you don't have this card right now. You're going to have it when Nationals comes around, so you can play it. If you can play it, play it. That's what I did. I wanted to play Lightsworn, I wanted to play Minerva, I went and got a Minerva, now we're all going to have Minerva, so yeah, so the card is great, but it's just not, it's not the center base of the entire deck anymore. On to the fusions, one Seraph Knight, one Norden, you're brilliant in instant targets. Uh, for the synchros, a double omega. There are so many times I wanted to play three, but I'm just like, I would rather do other things, and I, my extra deck space is tight. Two omegas gets the job done. A lot of times you only need to hit one card and then have one card recovered, so a lot of times you can just make your opponent start with less cards, and it's just insane. This card gets around everything. I love this card. It needs a reprint, though, like, for real. Like, the masses need to have everything. It's just, it's just a known fact. One, uh, Scarlight, because this card wins games you shouldn't win. Just blows up everything. You, they take burn damage plus 3,000. You just win. One, Michael Temez, because Michael Temez is broken. Shout out to my boy, Michael Temez. Michael is honestly a ridiculous XYZ in this deck just because you can banish anything. Like, you just get rid of the, the what do you call it, the, the Draco field spell. You just summon this, banish it. It's gone. It ain't coming back. So, I really like this card. It just gets around problematic things and it mills. So, I couldn't ask for more. The whole point of the deck is to fuel snow and just out-resource your opponent. Uh, that's it for the Sinkers for the XYZs. Uh, one, Amaterasu, one of my favorite cards. Very easy to make in this deck because you have a bunch of fours. You just bring back stuff. You add back. Max C, add back Crow, we're eventually going to be adding back a Ghost Ash, so that card's really good. Uh, one, Kagasushi, like I said, like one of my favorite cards to make in the extra deck. 
One Diamond Dire Wolf. Um, I'm still on the fence if this should be Tornado uh, Dragon. Uh, like, I don't have a Tornado Dragon, so you can put a Tornado Dragon here if you want. Uh, I've been going back and forth, though, because of the versatility Tornado Dragon has. I do have Twin Twisters for that, whereas Diamond Dire Wolf, many people have brought up. We joke about it that Dire Wolf isn't playable anymore, but Dire Wolf is still good because you can get around anything, and it also puts three cards in the grave for snow. That's actually quite important, whereas uh, you make the Tornado Dragon, you're only putting one. So that's one, I guess, little thing to add. A One Dweller, again, this could just be cut for uh, Tornado Dragon. The only reason I'm playing it is because of how reliant graveyards are, again, in the mirror map and also against uh, the Dino deck. Uh, Dweller's really good, so I put it in there. And then one Emerald, because Emerald's Emerald, recycles everything. I'm not playing the Lunar Light combo. I just don't like it in this deck. I don't want to play like extra bricks. Even though it can make me draw a bunch of cards, I'm not playing Terra Top or any of that. Um, I just like to go straight forward with the deck, and one Emerald's all you really need. My favorite play with Emerald, honestly, is bringing back Gem Knight Garnet, because it's a ton of damage on board. And the last of the extra deck is just the three zoo monsters. At first, I thought I could get away with a broad bull and a dryden, and then I realized I couldn't because I'm bad, so I had to play the tiger mortar. But it does come up a lot. You do do the zoo combo a lot with just barrage alone, so it works out pretty well. So, yeah. So, that is it, you guys. That is my 60 card Minerva Zombie Zoo Snow Kaiju every engine in Yu-Gi-Oh deck. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, be sure to show your support by leaving a like on the video. If you like these live deck profiles, let me know. I'm willing to do more of them. There's decks you want to see, let me know. If I don't have the deck, I will find someone with the deck because I know a lot of people who have a lot of decks that I don't have. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know the next uh, type of live deck profile you'd like to see here on the channel and I'll be sure to bring it to you. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.